Deep blog, we know that presenting your blog posts in a nice way, it's really important. So uh, in ARC, we made about 20 blog elements. Uh, all of them are really flexible and customizable. So you can literally create thousands of variations of the blog. Here is uh, the blank page. I'll go to the editor and hit the plus button. When I focus the blog, you can see that there are a lot of blog variations. I'll just scroll and scroll and scroll. Uh, what I really like is the block sliders, uh, which is it, which basically are block sliders, <laughs> and the timeline. Uh, but I will show you this. Uh, I will choose this one. I just inserted it. I will hit the quick save and show how it looks like. And it looks uh, cool out of the box. Uh, so we, we can start customizing to give you an idea what you can do. Uh, I will switch to the editor. Uh, firstly, I can go to the loop tab. I can set post per page, order by category. So uh, I will set it to this category. Uh, there is uh, There are a few settings. What is unique is these advanced loop settings uh, where you basically input PHP code if you need it. Uh, most of the times you won't need this, but just in case uh, if you want to make something special. And I will go to the general tab. As you can see, there is uh, there are the blog post. Everything is uh, as usual, drag and drop. You can reorder the uh, you can reorder the content. What I will do for, for first is there is a post content uh, section uh, which allows you to present the post content. Uh, you can choose the priority. For example, if you have few of your posts with excerpts and the rest don't have excerpt, it's usually a problem with WordPress themes, but you can choose the excerpt. And if it's not, if it's not found, you can choose the post content. What I will do is I will limit the post content length by, by number of words. You can, of course, use letters. And I will set like, uh, I don't know, 18 here. You hit a quick save button. When I switch back to the f uh, to the page, you can see that the post content is actually smaller. Uh, what I'm going to do next is to show you the post meta. Uh, you can have uh, unlimited, unlimited amounts of your meta. You can drag and drop and reorder it. Uh, every meta has the settings to link to the archive. What I will do is I will add author. And I will drag and drop it here, and uh, yeah, it will be better on a, on, a, on a first place. So I just added author here, uh, hit a quick save, and as you can see, the author is here. I can even change the color of of the author. It's here in a advanced tab. I click the typography. Since it's a link, uh, I need to set element inner links color. And I will choose something nice, like, uh, I don't know, this green. I hit a quick save. And all outers, yeah, all outers are, are green. Uh, we also saw everything through. So there are box, uh, box shadows. And uh, these here are settings. Yeah, you can set the uh, number of columns, content alignment, uh, gaps. So it could be without gaps, with gaps. It really depends on you. And you can disable this blog post shadow and you can change the blog post background. I don't know if you see there are a lot of, lot of settings. So basically you can customize this particular, particular one element just to fit your needs. And there are like 20 of them. So as I said before, the possibilities are basically limitless.